What is up, YouTube family? Hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. If it's your first time on the channel, my name is Steven. We're an audio production company, and I review and analyze all things music. Today, we are back with the boys. We are checking out KISS live in Tokyo 1988. We're going to be checking out a guitar solo from a guitar player I don't think I've uh, discovered yet in kits, Bruce Kulik, Killick, something like that. So I'm amped to hear him throw down. Then we're going to check out No, 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 another tune I haven't heard. So it's crazy. As much uh, kits as I've checked into, there's still stuff I'm discovering. So I'm geared up. All right, guys, a couple ways you can support the channel. The main way is to become a channel member right here on YouTube. It gives you access to members-only videos and other exclusive perks. Or if you dig what I'm doing, you can head on over to buy me a coffee for a one-time donation. No obligations, no expectations, and it's always appreciated. All right, you all, I am ready to rock out, so without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. We're looking at KISS live in Tokyo, 1988. If you're looking for our other KISS content on our homepage, we have a playlist dedicated to KISS, all different eras. We got some bangers on there. So after you watch this one, go over there and check that out. Let's see what we got going on. Let's roll. Bruce Killick. Killick. Bad man. In that whammy. Is he tapping? Come on with it. Let's go. Hey, this dude's a bad dude. I don't think I've seen him before. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but... And this is one of the eras without the makeup, I'm assuming. Obviously, uh, they don't have makeup on. Uh, 1988. But it's crazy as many Kiss videos as, as, I've, as I've checked out. I'm still discovering stuff about them. I mean, because they had so many different lineups and eras and no makeup with makeup. The, he's a bad dude, man. He's throwing down. I don't know about the, the fit. He, he looking wild with it. But uh, let's see what we got going on, man. Let's, let's keep rolling. Hitting those hammer-ons and pull-offs. That tapping. Dude, he's tough hitting that tapping, man. He's a beast. Hey, let's go, man. A, a new member has entered the chat. Come on with it. I love that whammy. Come on with it. Mm. 
Man, that grooves. Dude, this is super cool. I love um, I love when guitar solos, and I think, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is like a jam. Uh, so the drums are just rolling in there. I love when guitar solos break it up like this and some of the band comes in. I just think it's so cool. I talk about this often. It's hard to, any instrument, uh, it's hard to engage. Uh, guitar's easier, but like drum solos are harder for people that are non-drummers uh, because it's less melodic. But he's absolutely killing it, man. I love those dive bombs he's doing with the whammy bar. Like I said, the tapping, a whole bunch of different techniques, man. He's the real deal. Let's go. Let's go. All those accents. Come on with it. What the? Come on with it. Let's go. <laughs> Got that double bass. Dude. I, hey, let me hear y'all Kiss fans out there. Where's he rank amongst the other guitar players? I I don't believe I've done another video with him in it, man, but I'm a fan. He actually absolutely tore it down. A lot of different techniques uh, that was super cool. And it was an engaging solo, very melodic. I'm here for it. I love the drum part. I think that's Eric Carr on the drums based on the setup uh, that I've seen in the past, and he's a beast, too. Let's keep rolling, man. I think they're about to go into No, 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 which is a tune I haven't heard. Let's roll. Let's go. Dude. Hitting that double bass. Come on with it. Let's go. I'm going to go back a little bit. Hey, they're coming out the gate swinging with this one. That double bass pattern is not easy. Eric Carr, man, he's a machine back there. He really is. He's very tight when it comes to his drumming. Very punchy. Uh, you know, he gets everything out of the drums, man. I love Gene's bass, too. Uh, I've never seen him play this bass. It's got like a picture of him and his makeup, I think, on the, uh, on the body of it, which is super cool, man. Hey, this is a banger, man. Kiss has got so much stuff and so much tunes. It's like, the more I dig, the more I find of stuff I've never heard. Like this this intro, this double bass intro, straight fire, kind of like Van Halen-esque. Uh, let's keep rolling. And I think he was hitting some tapping too, which was fire.
He's a machine. Come on with it. Look at those electronic pads there, man. That's super cool, too. I love how they're mounted up high, and then he's got some roto toms. I mean, this is a killer kit. He's got those roto toms there on the right, and he's got those electronic, look like Simmon pads up there, man. That'd be a fun one to play. I would love playing that. I'm not sure if we checked out a solo from Eric Carr yet. I know we've checked out a couple solos. I know Peter Chris, and uh, I can't remember if the other one was Eric Carr or not. But he's a beast, man. And this tune's a banger. Certified banger. Let's go. Love that whammy. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, what? hold on. I'm going to go back so I don't uh, mess up a solo any. Uh, what's so cool, man, and here's the thing, I've checked out now, I don't know, it feels like 20 KISS videos. Like I said, if you haven't seen them all on our homepage under the playlist, KISS, you can find them. They reinvented themselves so many times. Uh, for better or for worse, a lot of people get in debates like, I like this KISS era. I like, But imagine a band that stood the test of time for that long. And this song right here is not easy to play. Everybody says their stuff's simple. While some of it may be simple, it's not easy to write. Uh, and it's not easy to execute as a band and stay tight. But this sucker is technically very difficult uh, to play, especially on drums or guitar, man. They're absolutely moving. This is a cool tune, and it's really a step outside the box of a lot of the stuff that I've heard from them, uh, which is cool, man. So it's like some bands, you hear one song, you've heard every song. But they they've been able to reinvent themselves so many times, which is awesome. And you got to give them credit for that. Let's go. Love that band. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do it, man. Hey. Like I said, this is a lineup I don't think I've heard, man. Guitar player throwing down. Y'all got to let me know more about him in the comments. When he joined KISS, how long he stayed with him. 
he was a beast, man. And like I said, I believe that was Eric Carr on the drums, that double bass pattern throwing down. I'm I'm here for it, man. I dug this tune. Anything up tempo like that, and it sounds kind of like Van Halen esque a little bit, which I love Van Halen, so I'm not. I don't think that's a bad thing. Uh, like I said, every time I ke- check out Kiss, I love them, man. They always bring me joy. I love this one. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for joining me on that one. Such a killer tune, man. Hey, and that guitar player was throwing down, no doubt. Like I said, y'all let me know more about him in the comments below, and let me know what else you want to hear from Kiss, man. Absolutely beast. All right, guys, if you haven't, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so when I release more content, you all get it. Thanks so much for hanging out each and every day, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.